Hello there and welcome back for some more Let's Play Super Mario World. In the last part, we began the Force of Illusion and finished up the Cheese Bridge stuff. And I should not have grabbed that. Fantastic. Now we gotta run through this level at the speed of sound. Or just kill Akatu, that works too. So it looks like we're just gonna be able to fly over this entire level, which is spectacular. Uh, because screw playing any video game uh, that was meant to be played. There's probably a secret exit somewhere down here that I am drastically missing out on, but, uh, hey, look at that. Fantastic. We blazed through a level, and I didn't get hit and take a bit of damage for once, so that's good. This is probably just going to bring me over there, though. But maybe if we had a secret exit in this level, it will take me to the exit, which would be good. This might actually be one of the faster paths. I'm sure there's another level we're missing, though. Alright, I'm just gonna try to slither past these urchins here. I've always been confused if, like, that blinking light that's facing the camera is supposed to be, like, a mouth or, like, another moving spike thingy. Oh, you can pick those up. I feel like I should have known that. Or maybe it's just like a nose? I can't even tell what it is on that sprite. Maybe we'll get the answer in the, uh, the Miyamoto myths. Where it has been canonically confirmed that uh, Miyamoto is indeed Bowser Jr.'s mother. Rejoice! The answer has been given. And uh, the world may have been a better place if, if we didn't know, but... You know, it, does, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Unlike uh, my Mario skills, it is fine. So, I have a feeling the secret egg is somewhere around here. That was way more momentum than I probably should have actually had, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. We'll take what we can get. I mean, you can't really turn around easily in this water. I'm gonna... Die. I'm gonna die. I was gonna try to just zerg my way through that, but... You know, bad things happen, mostly to me. Oh, cool, I didn't even need a mushroom there, I just got a free thingy. Good. All right. I remember being awful at this level amongst other levels, and um, well, apparently doing that as well. All right, so this will allow me to at least swim faster for a little bit. Maybe not downwards, but sideways. Maybe that's the key to this level. Which I just screwed up, but whatever. At least we got a mushroom. I got one more hit now. Wonder if there's anything down here. Well, there was uh there was pain down there, there was something. This might be where the secret exit is, maybe. It's a rip fan fish. Oh no, it's just a dragon coin. Great. That was worth it. That was totally worth it. Now I'm probably gonna die. Good. Actually, I wonder what's this way, if this is any different than the path I took the first time. Not really, but there's another Yoshi coin, or Dragon coin, or whatever. There's a lot of, uh, like, lasting momentum when you're swimming upwards. It's kind of weird. Well, I could go for that, but on the other hand, I could just swim as fast as I possibly can and just beat this level. Yeah, see, it kind of just goes up a little bit more than I expect it to. This is not going to end well for me. There was an item so close to. Alright, we'll give it another go. Maybe then I'll start cutting as soon as I do a bad. I wasn't talking about video editing cutting. I mean, I'm going to actually start slitting my wrist because I'm just that bad at Mario World. It's really a tragedy. If you find me dead in my room, well, you know it was Mario World. We have the uh, the evidence right here. They're just gonna they're gonna wonder at the morgue how I died in the 
cause of death is just gonna be shit at video games. Time of death garbage. Oh, yeah, definitely exemplifying that. Alright. Maybe... I will be able to hold onto that blog for like half a second. I don't know why those orange fish, or those orange cheap cheeps just disappeared last time. Considering like they weren't there when I was swimming upwards and it made it a hell of a lot easier. Okay, not worth the dragon coin. Okay. I think this was the direction I wanted to go in, but it is indeed not the direction I wanted to go in. I'm gonna take this block for safekeeping this time. Ooh, I move a little bit faster than I kind of want to sometimes. Okay, it's probably gonna go away before it can become useful. All right, well. This is not good any way you look at it. Okay, so they sink, I think. It's not supposed to be a limerick. All right, so I'm gonna go for it now. And maybe I can juke these fish and get down here, which I believe is where the secret exit is. Alright, I'm just gonna probably have to completely get through this with just an extra hit. Because I don't, I don't even think there's an easy way to dodge that fish. Yeah, there was no way I was fitting through there. But hey, as long as I don't screw this up, we actually got the secret exit. And that fish completely dis disappeared off the face of the earth. So. That's good. Oh, this is just a switch palace. I forgot. Good. Well, I mean, I think we got all the switch palaces now. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you hit that, you hit this. Oh, I was supposed to hit that last. Or, like, later. Oh, well. Whatever. We don't need those one ups. I'm too good for that, clearly. I have proven my, uh, my Mario World worth by dying three times in the same level that we have to play through again. Alright, so let's just save and continue here. I am going to go ahead and play through that level again and I will meet you guys at the end of it so that you don't have to watch me struggle again. Alright, we're in the final stretch. Just gotta make it past these. Alright, I think the goalpost is probably like right here. Fantastic. Alright, well, there's probably one more level in the Forest of Illusion then, and I think we just need to get the secret exit there. And we ac can actually leave, maybe? I think? I'm pretty sure the secret exit in the one where we didn't get the secret exit just leads to this path, which would just make it one faster, but we need to get that Switch Palace anyway, so my incompetence actually paid off. I remember this level being really awful. From what I remember, this is like a fairly hard level just because there's a ridiculous amount of bubbles. And also, apparently the Goombas stand up without warning, and that's good. Except it's not. Also, the bob exploding effect looks really weird. Because it kind of looks like it's imploding and doing like, some sort of suction effect. And I don't quite understand it. Okay. Well, if I had to guess, we're probably going to need to use a spring somewhere. And that somewhere is probably right there. Wonder. Good. That is exactly what I was wondering. Well, looks like we are uh, not bringing Yoshi around in this level. Uh, what a tragedy. But, uh, you know, he made a, a valiant sacrifice. I'm sure one of these blocks probably actually leads to a secret exit. That only makes sense. Maybe. I don't remember where the secret exit is in this one. Oh, that cancels out some of your momentum. Good to know. So don't run into those. And don't let that bob -omb run into that one. Maybe one of the pipes? I completely forgot where the secret exit in this uh, level is. Which sucks, because we totally need it. Um, I'm gonna hit every one of these blocks. Except for that one. And maybe some of the other ones. Alright, well at least the Goombas are here. Or Galoombas, or Karibos, or Kurabitos, or whatever they're called. I wonder if the Bobon does anything. Okay. Oh! Oh, he sure explodes. Alright. 
Let's try this block. No. None of these are probably it. Hmm. I doubt there's any secret blocks in here. That's cheap cheap for some reason. They don't really give you any warning that that's going to happen. It's kind of dumb. Uh, one of these has got to be... Ooh. Nothing. Never mind. Oh, there we go. This might be a secret exit. It is. It is a secret exit, but I can't get it. Because I'm dumb and took damage. Alright, well, on the bright side, I know exactly where it is. And on that note, I will meet you back at the secret exit when I'm feeling a little bit more good at this game and not bad. Okay? Alright, I didn't screw it up this time. Finally. Alright, so this should actually take us to the castle of this world, and I'm not sure how long I've been recording, because I know I've cut at least twice, I think, in this episode now. Uh, we'll just do the castle, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Goodbye, Yoshi. You will be missed. Oh, it's the snake castle. I remember disliking this castle in Super Mario World. And kind of disliking it in like New Super Mario Bros. and stuff, but I think it was better in those games, from what I remember. Oof. Almost running over into the lava a couple times here. Alright, that's a lot of potabos. Hitbox, or not, not hitbox, but the frame of like acceptance there was kind of uh, like a little boss that I could have actually made it through. It was a little bit rough there. I'm pretty sure there's like fake spikes in this room too, which make it even better. Yeah, okay, there's one right there. Wow, they just piled a bunch of dragon coins in this room. I'll tell you what. I think I might actually be able to get through as of now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Still love that fart trumpet in the uh, the theme there. Okay, so I was probably supposed to use the P-switch there, but I'm just going to be safe and bring it with me. Just in case it may break the level design or something. Okay, so it's either take a hit or, or die, and you know, I'd rather just take the hit. God, that is too much stuff on the screen. Even though it's only like two things and some like moving platforms was a little bit questionable with the amount of enemies there all right we'll give it another run with the snake at least Sorry if you can hear me mashing the D-pad, but uh, I can't keep that consistent run. I gotta do some uh, some crazy dash dancing stuff here. So that's how you play Super Mario World. As you can tell, I'm a Super Mario World expert. Alright. Let's try not to die here. That would be embarrassing. You know, no less embarrassing than the last time. Where are the dragon coins? Do they not respawn? That's weird. Is that a normal thing? Do they usually not respawn? Or did I just break the game? I'm not even gonna bother with the P-Switch. I don't need that in my life. All right. Let's wait for the Potabo to do his thing. And then I will gladly get this to make my life a little bit easier. Oop! Almost screwed that up. Alright, well that was a short castle, at bare minimum. Oh cool, a reused boss fight. A very, very easy reused boss fight. Fantastic. Well, at least I kind of made up for it by not being absolute cancer at the boss. That wasn't fantastic by any means, but, you know. Compared to what I was doing before, it was something. Poor Mario. All 
Alright, anyways. Dangerous Castle Number 5. That's the actual name of the castle. It's what the great architects of Dinosaur Land named it. They just named them Castle Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Very creative. Truly a rich history in Dinosaur Land. Anyways. Thank you for watching, and in the next part we will move on to, what is this, like Chocolate Island? And I'll probably get wrecked some more. Bye.